Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. It's game one of the American League Championship Series. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Minnesota Twins. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton singing this should be fun. Well, you can feel the energy in the ballpark, and these two teams have fought through so much adversity to get here. When you get here, you forget about individual statistics, and you play for the team. When a team is able to do that, they see themselves go to another level, and I'm looking forward to seeing that tonight. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. About to get started here for game one. Getting the nod in this one, Jay Mack. Going to be hard to top his last start, Singy. Total command last time out. Scattered two hits over his outing. He had great stuff. We'll see if he's got it again in this one. So just about and set. Here's Kyle one. Tucker. Leading off tonight for Houston. The right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Get ahead of him right here. And here it comes. Ball. That misses the zone. Count so we're off and running in game one. First pitch, 7 5 And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and a count one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, the count. Now with the shift on, pits right into it. Over to first, and Tucker is retired. Batting second, the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And let's take a look at the lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Jose Altuve up to hit here. And that one fouled off. No score just getting started top of the first. Next offering is fouled back. One out, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Boop, for me, that knuckleball was just devastating. I mean, you see it so well, you think you're going to go out there and get four knocks, and you just swing and miss. And I tell you what, I tried my best to put Tim Wakefield in the Hall of Fame. So we'll see. If he gets there, you know it's because of me. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Hey, two way. Two way. First pitch, and he just misses. Righty delivers. 
That's a strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Got him looking. That's out number three. One, two, three, go the Astros. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe is an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. That's the next ball. offering misses, and it's 2-1. and one. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but, yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. <laughs> Strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean... That slider didn't move till the very last moment. Probably difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And he gets Bregman, and that's the first out. Had him way out in front that of the hit. knuckleball there. That the thing just shot. floats and dances Never. to the plate, and as a hitter, kind of feels like it'll never get there. You've got to try to find a way to stay on that back leg and just let it travel as deep as possible. Tough to hey, do, though. Right here. Here's Trevor's story. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Kicks and fires. Off the plate, ball one. Hey, we got one out No here. score here in the second. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. two. Breaks through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that That's rhythm. It. Maybe it's square around the, the bunt, base step base. out of the box, agitate him a little bit, line. do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Astros, Jesus Aguilar. Right And the ball first pitch misses three. for ball one. Hey, we got two, two down. Righty to the plate. That misses. Now 2-0. Oh. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Ground ball to the right side. Whips it to Moran. Third out, and that ends the frame. Astros are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Out of the third inning. So now the Astros designated hitter, Pedro Leon. The designated hitter, Pedro Leon. Hey, we got no out. Mac, back to work. Out in front with the swing, one, one, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss. Wind in the pitch. Stays alive. 
Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hands, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses and one away in the top of the third. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to blow by hitters, but you'll see this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, and then the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience it's not a good feeling. Now, Chaz McCormick, and there's a foul ball. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Here we go, right now, fellas. Hit weakly on the ground. Whips it to Moran. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Batting up. The catcher. Tucker. Barnhart. Two outs, base is empty. Tucker Barnhart up next for the Astros. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That hits the dirt. 1-0. and oh. The 1-0. Oh. Good eye right there. There's a swing and a miss. We got two balls, one strike. And that's that. Astros go down one, two, three, and it remains one nothing. Back in Minnesota as we go to the top of the fourth, and now the right fielder Kyle Tucker, the right fielder, and a pitch. Kyle Tucker, ball one, no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. One one check swing appeal down to third. No swing says Freddie Ferguson. And we got no one here. Left hand batter waits. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game now in the early parts of this one, Boo. Fully on the attack the with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. And that one fouled off. The Strohs still looking for their first hit in this one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. The punch out there. Two down. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd now love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you've got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. you got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. 
This guy has turned into a beast. Hammer, base hit. The third baseman, number two. Alex. Here's Alex Bregman. Hey, all right, here we go now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hey, now we got two. And the righty deals. That one close, ruled a ball. And it's a ball to strike. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. That ends the frame. One left for Houston. They still trail 1-0. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Here comes a pitch. Trevor Story. Going one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Probably oh, showing some pretty after. dominating stuff out there the in this one, back. not just in terms mm -hmm. of swing and miss, oh, but also in terms of command. You know, all the strikeouts, they just kind of speak for themselves, but when you don't walk anyone, you're demonstrating that you have the confidence in your abilities to truly go right after opposing batters. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Grounded out his first time. Hey, first pitch strike. Get ahead right here. In there, and it's 0-1. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. One down, base is empty. In there. And so now one, one and two. Two straight. Got it. Back to back strikeouts. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout for inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Hey, two, two outs, two bases away. empty. Next is the designated hitter, Pedro Leon. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it go, seems fellas, like, within the go. third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. That one drilled left field. Makes the catch inning over. Nothing doing there for Houston. They trail here, one nothing. Back at target field, top six. Now it's going to be Chaz McCormick. For the, the center field. Nobody out here, nobody. Chaz the line to the pitch. There's a strike. Hey, plays the one. Here we go. Swing and a miss. No okay, balls, two down. strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now batting. The catcher. Tucker. Barnhart. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart.
Ball Next one. offering is down low. And that's ball one. One out now. And a pitch. That one the other way. Whips it across. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The white fielder, number 30, Kyle Tucker. And the batter now, Kyle Tucker. That one's in there, 0 and 1. All ones the count. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings right. through it. Hey, two way now. Next offering is downstairs. Guys, let's go. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Hard of the order, three, four, five. Back here at the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Jose Altuve. Matt, back to work. And that's through there for a strike. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Hey, no one down here. Ball. Next pitch is in the dirt, and it's one and one. one, and one. High in the air, out to right. Kirilov on the move. Racing makes the catch. And there's one down. The left fielder, number 24, Jordan Alvarez. Next to hit, Jordan Alvarez. One for two. And that's in there for strike one. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Hey, one away. One away. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Towards first, boots it. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Alex Bregman getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and one. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike zone, gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 yep. okay. now. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. In the air, right side. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. The tag, and that's out number three, inning Ruth over. Ruth for the traditional seven-hitting stretch.
ready to begin the eighth and stepping in for the Astros hey, Trevor first, Story. Yeah, you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about the wind of the pitch there's a strike hey we got no one and downstairs And the right hander deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. So digging in, Jesus Aguilar. First pitch just misses. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Next offering misses. Two and one. The count is two and one. Kicks and deals. That one just misses. Full count now. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Got him. Two away. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Now at the plate, Pedro Leon. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And that is that. One, two, three, go the Astros. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back in Minnesota. And stepping in is the speedy Chaz McCormick. And the pitch. Chaz McCormick. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Next offering is down low. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And now it's even up. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. That one down the line. Bronco to first. And that is a big first out. Now that catcher, Tucker, Barnhart. Here's the catcher, right Tucker now. Barnhart. And he swings and misses at the initial hey, offering. Ball.
And now the count is even. Well, just very efficient out there on the mound. I mean, just a great outing. He's just now getting to 100 pitches. So now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And a swing and a miss. Now only one out remaining. Well, they got him swinging with the knuckleball there, and I feel this guy's pain, Boog. I just have nightmares about the times that I had to face Tim Wakefield. Not good numbers, and if my career was based off of that, I would have been in AAA. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Hey, two down here. Owen oh, he waves at that one. Got him, and that's the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. The final one to nothing. They hang on to win it by a run for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.